Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early 2021 LEGO minifigure series 21 review. Today we're going to be looking at the complete set of 12 minifigures. That's right, it's 12 now, which honestly, if they're this quality, I have no problem with that at all. I really am enjoying uh, this series. Like it, it blew me away. The detail and references in this is just absolutely insane as you keep going. And thank you to LEGO for actually sending me the LEGO Minifigure Series 21 so that I can get videos out early like these. But uh, anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a look at each of the figures going in order of what's on the checklist. Alright, let's start things off with what LEGO is calling the Paddle Surfer. And she does actually come with a dolphin piece here as well in the series. So um, that is that's cool to get, I guess. Uh, but the figure itself is incredibly detailed. I think my favorite part about it is actually just the surfboard. I know that sounds pretty funny, but I love coral. It is my favorite Lego color right now. And it just looks great on the surfboard. Getting the paddle piece in white is great here, as well as the hair and cap here look really great in this color with the printing. I really like that. I really like the life jacket here in bright blue. That looks really cool. And her face print as well is great. I love the glasses and that face print there, as well as on the back, she's got this really cool face as well. She also has some cool back printing and just the dual molded legs is really great to be getting here. And I just love all the detail there for the shorts. But let's take a look at the torso. And look at that torso. Like it's so detailed. I love the dolphin there. Just the whole thing there. It reminds me just some of the colors of Paradis. So it's, it's really nice. I really love uh, the fi this torso. And even the fact that like the black is coming through here. It just adds to the fact like that this is like a, a water suit. I think that's really cool. Here is the Violin Kid, and I really love this figure, down to the detail on the shirt, the reference there to Blacktron, as well as the violin is just so cool. And I think that the wand piece here used for the violin, is it's great. I really love that. I think that looks really cool. It is so detailed here. The Violin Kid could grab it from there as well, which I'll show you in a second. But I think that this is just such a great-looking figure. Like, there's just so much, like, you could just have him, like, standing there it's just like i don't know it's so great but uh let me show you how to put that on it's kind of like um i guess they did that with the guitar as well so there's a lot that you could do there and um i i don't know i just really love the violin it looks so nice again look at the torso there so incredibly detailed it looks great and on the back, the hood printing, it's really good. And the shorts, nice color as well. And the face, though, could be one of my favorite parts about this. It's He's just he's just in the moment there, just playing his music. And then on the back, he hit like a wrong note. And he's just like kind of concerned. <laughs> I really love that face print. Here is the Shipwreck Survivor. And to me, I know a lot of people always say Fortnite steals skins from LEGO, but... Fortnite did this one first. I don't know. I just, I think that just some of the references and things in here, it just it feels like it's ripped from there. But anyways, enough about that. Um, there's, there's a, it's just such a great figure. I love the tattoo on the arm as well. That could be perfect for pirate custom figures and things like that. I really love that. The caveman hair and beard here looks great. Disappointed. There's no volleyball. I mean, that would have been really awesome to do. Well, sir! Like, it would just, you know, it would have been so great to get in this, but uh, I, I don't know. It, it just, it would have been great. Um, I like the little message in the bottle. I think that's pretty cool. As well as the hermit crab here. The way the hermit crab actually works is it has like this peg sticking out. So you take the stud with the hole in it, attach it like that. And then you take the poop piece in white um, and you put it there at the back. So that's how you do that. And underneath the beard here, he's got this face print and... I kind of wish that he had a second face print. It's surprising that he's literally one of the few, if not the only one, I think, in the series to actually not have a second face. I don't know why that is since it's clearly covered up here. So kind of disappointing about that, I think. Definitely could have had like, I don't know, maybe like a sunburn expression or something. That would have been really cool. Here is the lady girl and she's so cute i love the face printing it's just so adorable even her accessory i think is probably my favorite thing the little ladybug there on the flat stud that looks so cute on the leaf and the use here of the bees hat is so cool in red i love that so much and on the back she does have like a little ladybug wings it's just so adorable there's no back printing or anything like that but even the legs it's very interesting. So these are 
wow, this is like the opposite of what Lego would do in a set. Like, look at this. They're dual molded, right? But then they go all the way up with the, like, this is crazy. Like, that's so fascinating to me. So that's all printed on the side. They're all printed black. Um, but you could see, like, I love the, the hip printing there as well. Little ladybug again, just adorable. But let's take a look at this second face print because it's so cute. She's just like, just, it's, it's a great figure. Really great figure. Here's the pug suit guy. And I really love this figure. It's so adorable. I am so happy with how this turned out. Honestly, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, another suit. But then like having it in person, the detail on this molded piece is just so adorable. The little bandana, the foot printing, the little toy bone here. That is so smart to me. I hope we get more recolors of that. Like the bone piece in different colors. I never even thought of that. That's so cute. And the face print here is just so cute with the tongue sticking out like that. And on the back... Like that face is just adorable and the bandana carries over to the back and the little pug tail, it's just so cute. This is just such an adorable little figure. And out of all of the figures, it honestly be the one that I'd be the most happy with having multiples of if I was getting this series on my own. Here is the Centaur Warrior and can't help but feel like that that's Canada reference there, right? The the belt there with the maple leaf. Uh, but she's she looks good. Uh, she's actually using the brand new Harry Potter centaur piece here, but it's recolored in this dark orange, which looks really good with the brown, the dark brown tail. Um, it's probably my least favorite figure in the whole series. It's just I don't know. They definitely could have done something interesting with the hair, just because it's just. It just, it's like a modern hair piece that we've been getting recently, but I, I guess it, it, it's fine. I don't know. Even the bow, like it definitely should have been the fancy elf bow, I think. Um, but I like the quiver here on the back. That looks cool. And the apple to, I guess, do some target practice. She has some really nice arm printing here. And on the back of her head, she's got this second face print, which is really great. It's unnecessary. Like this series, just minus the shipwreck survivor, the second faces are just really unnecessary but it just adds to the figures here is the beekeeper and this is such an amazingly detailed figure i thought that the visor there was just like the dark sort of i call it gunmetal uh but it's like the, the the dark grayed out clear pieces it's not it's got this foggy effect which is just amazing like that's meant to be mesh or whatever it is like that's it's beyond incredible the fact that lego like pulled that out for this like that's that's really great um i love the uses here for the pieces that's so intelligent using the superhero like the stand piece there up on an upside down mug yes i heard your comments but oh my goodness it's so smart i really love that and getting the mug in silver for the first time as well is fantastic i think it is at least i've never gotten one but it's just like i just there's so many uses for this like and the two by two tile here is great as well with the little honeycomb pieces and everything like that underneath this as well th he's got this second face which is amazing like that's the face that i thought he came with but he's got his tongue sticking out because he's just he's just hungry for honey and i love the little honeycomb logo there on the chest and a little bit of honey on uh right there as well on the torso and the leg printing the fact that it goes from the side and all the way up it's a really detailed figure and the dark red gloves i mean dark red of dark red here is the ancient warrior and i love the detail on this figure i don't necessarily like this isn't something that i would normally say i have an interest in but it like this is undeniably such a detailed figure i love the leg printing there it's so great the painting there like it's so great the shield as well is incredible this new sword piece it's so cool looking but even like this headdress helmet, like look at that, there's printing there, black there, blue there, the eyes are, like there's just so much detail in this figure. And then he's even got this second face print. Like, look at that. That looks super, super great. I'll show you that with the helmet on. Um, but I love the look of that and the back printing as well. The arm printing, this figure is just phenomenal. That looks so funny. <laughs> Here is the airplane girl, and she's really adorable. I love getting these little vehicle suits. Like, it's so cute with, like, the car suit guy from Series 18. Now we get a little airplane. Now I want a boat. Now I want a train. I want it all. Uh, but it's so cute. I really love this. Like, you could really accessorize with this. Like, 
uh, if you wanted to do little mocks and things like that because there's studs here and there and on the other side it's really nice um, this is actually the propeller piece that you put like on hats so that's really adorable the face as well like it's so detailed she's got a little bit of a, a like a scuff there on her face i guess because she's had a few uh not so happy landings um but i really love the back face print as well let's take off the plane and then i'll show you it with the helmet here she is and i love the outfit the little jumper it's so cute the jumpsuit it what is that a reference to fp is that a, that a j i don't know let me know down below if you know what that is but i think that looks really great and on the back here as well, she does have a really nice propeller looking logo. And the helmet here, the goggles are actually brand new in dark tan if I did my research correctly on Brickset. Um, so that's really cool to be getting for the first time in that color. Here is the space police guy. And I love this figure. It, it's so great. Um, I like the fact that it's a part of like the regular space there with the logo in the gold. That's really cool. I like the riot shield. That's pretty awesome. As well as this flashlight or baton is pretty cool. You could swap it out for like the gun here, the handcuffs in black, which I think the first time was in the Disney train set. So that's really cool to be getting in a cheap set. I love his face here as well. And the little visor can flip up. I like that it's in red. And even the helmet here, the reuse here, I think that's pretty good. But uh, on the back, he's got this sort of upset expression as well. So I love that he has the second face print. But I think for a lot of people, underneath is the best part. Look at that torso. Such a cool reference to the classic space days. Oh my goodness, that looks so great. I love the look of that. Oh my goodness, can't, it takes me back to having some of those figures. The boot printing as well, I didn't mention before, looks really great. On the back, he's got police written there. And a better look at his face if you didn't see it before through the stuff that was on the backpack. But wow, what a great figure. I wish he had some arm printing because I definitely feel like they could have done something special with that. Even if it was just a stripe of something, um, it just feels a little incomplete that way. But he's already got so much. So I don't know why I'm asking for that. Here is the alien and not too big a fan of their inclusion just because it kind of connects to another figure. And it's like, why are they the two with a connecting story? But I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Um, it's like, I don't know. It's got like spikes on the back. I like the texturing on the side of the, the head. The eyes and the, the mask, I guess, is, is is fascinating. I like the crowbar and gunmetal gray. That's great to be getting. Um, but even the leg printing, it's really great. I love how that carries up and just into the torso and everything. It's so cool. I love the feet printing. The shoulder printing as well is really cool. Wow, look at that. It's not dual molded. That's really fascinating. Got to take notes for my CMS series. Um, but the torso and everything, the hexagon printing, that's that's pretty cool. And on the back, he's got like, I, I guess that's like his oxygen breathing. And maybe he's still in the crystal for that. That is the same color. So that's kind of interesting. Here's the cabaret singer. And honestly, my favorite figure, I think, in the series. Her colors here are just so great. It reminds me of some of the, the singers from the Lego Movie 2 series. I love all the sequence and glitter and everything on the torso, the legs as well. The dual molded legs there in purple and turquoise look amazing and i'm not sure which way this little fabric piece is supposed to go is it the glitter on top is the glitter on the bottom i can't tell from the checklist which way it's it's meant to be it, it's not very clear um but yeah let me know which way you're going to display it but i think she looks great it, it's really great you could take off the mic if you wanted to and give it to her and put it in her hand here but taking off this headpiece you could see that while she does have this amazing singing expression on the back, she's got this like happy, happy expression. And I love the back printing as well. And again, dual molded legs, just fantastic looking figure. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of series 21. And I really love the series. Again, the references, just the detail on these figures are just some of the best. We've gotten all the new pieces and I just think that it's a really solid series. Sure, there's a few things that I would change up and a few characters and figures that I wouldn't necessarily include. Especially like having an alien and a space cop. It's like, why are they in the same series? It's just it's just kind of strange to me. Like that alien surely should be someone else um, in my opinion. But I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you think of series 21? Have you been able to find it uh let me know so be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on future lego 2021 news and reviews as well as if you want to see a feel guide be sure to not miss out on that because that'll be uploaded um within the next few days so be sure to check that out when it does upload if you are trying to go out and get some of these figures but i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i hope you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one